never thought I would cry on the internet again. But that just might happen today. I'm now taking it off so that I don't hate myself quite so much. Last look. I'm Megan and this week I'm gonna be dressing inspired by three of my queer style icons. I identify as queer, gay. I identify as a woman loving woman, questioning rising. I've always thought that your queerness and your style had to be one to one. And the older I've gotten, the more I realized that like, I just wanna be cute. I just want you to think I'm cute. I can dress really feminine one day, and then the next day dress gothy, and then the next day dress like a teenage skater boy, and like, those are all me. For this video, my three style icons are Naomi McPherson of Muna, Conan Gray of himself, and Phoebe Bridgers. They all have styles that slightly differ from each other, and also very much differ from the way that I normally dress. Number one, Billy mother Porter. Freddie Mercury, Janelle Monae. If there was anyone that could convince me to want to wear a suit every day, it would be Janelle Monae. As far as shopping goes, I'm gonna do some stuff online, a lot of stuff thrifting, and we'll see what we can pull together. I really hope I don't fall flat on my face. I just need things to go my way. Leo sh it is what it is. Let's go shopping. Shopping day. I really only think that I need like accessories. to get the shoes, the iconic, Sambas. And then I gotta get the armband. So the reference picture that I saw, he has like this armband and then a matching belt. Looking for a gold chain bracelet. Ha! Ah! Oh my God, this is perfect. Definitely getting my jeans from Urban Outfitters because I know exactly how Urban Outfitters jeans fit me. So add to bag. So shopping for Billy, we wanna try and get it to be as close as we can. Most importantly is the dress. And I found this ball gown. It's got the volume that I need. Could also be cinched in at the waist. We're gonna get a cummerbund. Okay, I've been looking forever for this black denim dress with white contrast stitching. Okay, this isn't perfect, but the silhouette is close. It has the pockets on the bottom. I think this is definitely as close as I'm gonna get. And I like the dress, so add to bag. Fake sleeve, fake sleeves, R layer ruffly fake flared cuff wrist sleeve. We need the orange shirt for Naomi, the green jacket for Naomi, maybe even the pants. I guess I really don't have most of their outfit. I need a graphic black t-shirt for Conan. Shopping for Janelle's look. Out of the three looks, this is definitely the most um, custom looking. I found a red suit that looks pretty similar to the red that Janelle's wearing. And then Jaden, my girlfriend, is going to construct the actual skirt. And so that's gonna be a separate shopping trip. We're gonna have to go to Joanne's for that. Good morning. Today I'm dressing like Naomi McPherson. And they are one third of Muna, which is <sighs> truly my favorite band. Naomi described their style as vintage workwear baggy. They also said but I'll probably have to bleep that out. Those are also three words that would not describe the way that I normally dress. I mean, I couldn't feel cooler if I tried. And I mean, I did try. Sorry about the tape, there's a logo on the shirt that I can't show, so. I mean, tell me I don't look good. No, don't tell me. I don't want you to be a liar. Little mascara filled in my eyebrows. I don't think Naomi wears makeup. If they do, it's very, very subtle. My black nail polish is chipped, which I feel like Naomi wouldn't mind. I love gold on me, apparently. This is legitimately the most baggy, masculine thing. I've never had an outfit on that had this vibe, like truly ever. I like it. It's day one. We're doing Billy's look today. But as you can see, she's she's snug. The energy that we're having today is very much Project Runway. Make mark! You know Billy Porter is here. This is the second time only in my life I've ever worn a prom dress. So I think that this turned out pretty good. <laughs> I enjoy the androgynous appeal to this but this is a lot for me. I don't like having to pick my clothes up for me to walk. I also feel like for some reason it looks more masculine 
on me than it looks on him, but I think that has to do with the fact that his is probably custom and expensive, and this is Amazon Prime. The waist is cinched, babes. I feel very important. Normally, I'm just dramatic on the inside, but now everyone can see the drama that's happening on the inside, on the outside. Good morning! Today I'm dressing as rising pop star and TikTok hit maker Conan Gray. I would describe Conan's style as being very boyish but with feminine touches. The outfit I'm recreating is I think exactly what he wore when I saw him in concert opening for Panic! at the Disco and it's like quintessential Conan to me. It's not looking good for me guys. He wears this around his forehead. Yeah, no. Here it is, you've seen it, it's part of the thing. I'm now taking it off so that I don't hate myself quite so much. It has the trappings of something that works for me, but all in all, it does not. It's clearly Gen Z, but it's not Gen me. I'm gonna alter it just slightly to make it more me. We're getting into the Freddie Mercury look today. I feel like this is going to be the most easy look to put together, but I'm a dumb ass and I got the armband, but I forgot to get the belt. I don't know why, I just feel like when I put it on, it's gonna look a little too basic. And I don't know if Freddie Mercury is going to be easily read. It could just be just lesbian is what people are gonna see. It's not totally wrong, I guess. So I've cropped the white button up and I've tied up my black shirt. I like the schoolboy, school kid sort of vibe with the Air Force Ones and the socks that are showing and the cuffed straight leg jeans I really like. I think if a stranger saw me walking down the street, they'd be like, that's a hip outfit, you know? When I snap my fingers, I am going to transform myself into the late, great Freddie Mercury. Boom! I got my Freddie Mercury drip on. This little armband right here it keeps slipping down. My jeans are not vintage, but they have like a vintage kind of feel. I got the tight tank top. I got the Sambas that he wears. I'm hot. Freddie Mercury. Today, I'm styling myself like Phoebe Bridgers. The outfit I'm styling is based off of one of Phoebe's past performance looks. Phoebe's whole vibe is a lot darker than I am generally. I mean, my whole room is like pink and bright. So this is definitely a very different vibe for me. I never thought that covering up more would make me feel extra sexy. That is absolutely how this whole week has gone. For the makeup, it looks like Phoebe does this sort of light tan wash of color with the shiny purple lip. I've got the silver coin necklace on. I think this dress turned out perfectly. It's obviously not like a direct recreation, but like it's very close. It has the big pockets at the bottom and the cross stitching. Can't see her shoes in any of the pictures, so I just went for these Mary Janes. This outfit is kind of like if Phoebe's skeleton onesie was the caterpillar and then this is the butterfly that came out of it. I feel like a bad bitch. It's day three. It's the most bold, and it's also just the most feminine. And so I'm anxious to see what it looks like on me. I feel like I'm gonna dig it. Oh. Make it work. Shut up. <laughs> Here we go. Last look. She's Janelle Monet. This is the fully constructed high-low skirt. Then I have the same tie that I used for my Billy Porter look. And then I added this little, this little guy here. The suit is too small, maybe like one to two sizes too small. But all things considered, kind of sickening. I low-key look like the hostess of a themed restaurant. Put the theme you think it is in the comments. Right now, I'm low-key, high-key pulling it off. My favorite look, I think, was the Janelle look. Quality, quality all around. And I didn't feel more gay because I dressed like my queer style icon. Because I'm me regardless of what I put on my body. Really, everyone's bad bitch is there. You just have to unlock it. Pull the trigger, I'm dead. I got 
Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me chill or they really think Freddy back from the dead, y'all feel me?